Jesus showed me the corruption in the church, the glories of heaven and the torments of hell. The year 2013. God be praised. Thank God that you are here witnessing to God's glory. I'm a 70 year old old man who had pastored a church. And today because of old age I'm just helping the church now. Listen to my testimony. I was kneeling praying inside my room asking for strength for my fragile body. I get tired easily with my body but after praying, I received great spiritual vigor. And I began to pray without stopping for two hours. God gave me the grace to continue praying. In a matter of seconds, my spirit was caught up in the clouds. It was about three o'clock in the afternoon and I could see the golden face of Jesus shining a glorious light. He hugged me with a lot of love. And from above the clouds, I could see the earth below churches jesus with a sweet and quiet voice said look at the confusion on the earth look at the situation in my churches he was not speaking only of the christian congregations but of all the churches that speak the truth but are corrupting themselves he said to write down and that i would be his witness on earth jesus said i still have not come back because the church is not ready the fruits are green and few are ripe for harvesting Watch my servant and write down everything you see. I fixed my eyes on the land and saw several church competitions and denominational wars. One ministry was wanting to be better than the other. I beheld a great multitude of these peoples walking on a broad path toward hell. Many who died in these churches were falling off a cliff into the hell of fire. I also saw a competition from several churches interested in tithing and offerings. These churches be for members because of the money. I could see the false prophets taking people out of serious churches because their high salaries compelled them to increase the number of their membership. These evil men are not interested in nursing and pastoring God's people. What matters to them is money. Christians came out of their churches and went to congregate with these false shepherds. They took their hands off the plow and turned away from the truth to follow the lies of the false shepherds. They are also walking towards hell with the false shepherds. These shepherds do not want to take souls out of the world and bring them to Jesus. They take the true Christians out of the truth and bring them to the deceit of their churches. These false apostles do not want to save the drugged, drunk, and homeless because these types of unfortunate people have no money. They seek the middle and upper class people to support their churches. The true church invests in disciples. I saw Christians speaking ill of others and because of this, they were walking down this path. The tongue was their weapon of destruction, which discouraged the weak and deprived them of grace and makes them oppressed by the devil. Those who use their language for destruction do not bear fruit in their spiritual lives. They become unproductive and unprofitable servants. They are infertile, destroyers, slanderers, scatterers of evil and agents of the devil. Millions of Christians were on this path of destruction and few were following the other path that was like a desert filled with thorns and stones. No one wanted to walk through the way of the cross. The Lord Jesus wept. I saw tears of pain fall from his face because of the situation of the churches. I could see Christians making their lies become truths and their destructive heresies become doctrines. I saw all this happening on earth. Jesus said, My servant, these are like the fire that destroys my church. They have no goals in their spiritual lives. They are in the church just to add in quantity, they do not deserve to be called my servants. For justice sake, they are not worthy to be called my servants because they do not do the things I demand. Their names are not in the book of life and they are wasting their time in the church. 
These false bishops give me lip service and speak very well of me. But they are vain and do not humble themselves before my presence. Privately for them, humility is for the weak but publicly they will say that being humble is the right way to beg for my blessings. They are also following the path of hell. Jesus told me about the ambition to secure positions within the church for themselves. Lots of fights take place in church jostling for positions from each other. Envious brothers twist for the failure of the other brother in office and wanting to see their brother's failure. What made me sad was a vision Jesus showed me. An elder went through great trial and turned from the path of Jesus. One of the brothers in his church was glad he had gone astray because that means he could take over the position of this elder. I also saw another brother who was grateful that a pastor was not succeeding in his work. And that's what happened, he could not shepherd the church anymore. The founder and president of the church took him out of the work and put another to shepherd. And the new pastor was the very brother who hoped for the pastor to fail in the work. Maybe this brother who hugs you and slaps you on the shoulder is the envious one who wants to be in your place. It may be that this person is doing the work side by side with you and says that he is your friend. But he will be rooting for your failure so that he can take over your position. Many fights for a position of the church, they dispute among themselves who is the best, who do more works than the other to get the attention of their shepherds. But they do not seek God's will and approval, and they do not please Jesus. Jesus does not want to see a church waging war over insignificant things on earth. Jesus showed me in a vision a Christian praying for another brother to fail in his work. This made me sad because it is not prayer, but a work of witchcraft. Jesus showed me Christians who have projected a bad image of Christianity in their jobs. They did not watch their words and behavior in the midst of the wicked and they speak evil of their chief and of others of the company. They complained about their wages and their jobs. With great sadness, Jesus said, my servants ask for a job from me. I use men to hire them. They get the job, but they do not thank me for the blessing they received and they still speak ill of what they asked for that I gave. Such behavior displeases me. My church has to be light anywhere, not just in the house of prayer. Jesus showed me groups of Christians sitting in the circle of scoffers. The Christians together with the wicked spoke immoral words and on the sexual matters and jokes. The subjects were useless and never spoke of Jesus to those souls in need. Church pay attention to your day-to-day -day attitudes outside the house of prayer. Watch to keep from falling into the bondage of the devil and learn to be bound in the Holy Spirit. Let him use you to evangelize. Even if the people around you do not approve of your work, God will approve your efforts. Do the work to please God and not man. The Lord Jesus made me see a mega church on the earth. This ministry had its attention turned to the famous preachers. The people admired those superstar men. Idolatry was on their faces. There are no fans, but worshippers. The humble Christians who were not known in this church, the people did not care about them as if they were nothing or did not exist. When they preached, the people would not listen. And when they knew he was a simple Christian who would preach that night, few came. If the preacher were a famous celebrity preaching that day, the church would be filled as the people only chase after famous preachers. Jesus was sad about the situation in this church. I saw how 95% of this church walked toward hell along with the famous preachers. There are two types of preachers, a preacher of the people and the preacher of God. One will please the people to be welcomed and the other will please God and be despised by the whole congregation. The prophets did not please Israel at the time of the law. Jeremiah was a prophet rejected by the people for preaching against sin. The prophets who preached blessings and crops as great abundance belonged to the people. The church chooses its prophets and God chooses its own. Heaven Jesus led me to the heavenly mansions. I was in the air and suddenly I found myself in paradise. I walked in the streets of gold and beheld the wonders that are prepared for the saved. I had never seen a city as beautiful as that. The crystal clear river cuts through the city. Crowds of people were living in this place. I saw Priscilla, Apollo, Elizabeth, and Enoch in heaven. I also saw the prophet Ezekiel, 
all in white robes and youth. Men of holy doctrine from all over the world are there. The place is for saints who do not live in sin, no matter their church. I was the elder of a congregation. Jesus said he delivered this flock into my hands and that it was the most obedient congregation in the city. I made a difference when I was an elder, always following the Bible. Jesus said, there is a lack of evangelism in the streets and homes. The people are in their comfort zones and do not want to spread the gospel through the city. Jesus took me to hell. I saw Christians from every church even from the Christian congregation. Plagues and denominations do not save. Kings and queens. I saw King Antiochus in the hell that persecuted the people of Israel and profaned the temple. All the Pharisees who persecuted Jesus are also in hell. I continued walking in hell and I saw Emperor Julius Caesar. And King Herod. I also saw Queen Cleopatra, Delilah, and Nerfetid. These people have received great punishment for their evil deeds. I saw Jezebel in hell. This woman was cruelly punished by the demons. Her screams of despair hurt my soul. Sin. I saw people in hell with rotting bodies. Jesus said, these souls have leprosy because of sin. Sins become leprosy of the body when souls go to hell. Adultery. I also saw Christians in hell because of adultery. They were brothers who divorced and married the second time. Sexy clothing. Sisters wearing high heels are also there, along with those who wore jeans skirts. Do not wear this cloth called jeans as it is tight and causes lust, there is no wide denim skirt. Men also do not use this cloth, for it is consecrated on earth to devils and in hell, this cloth is very famous. Do not wear sneakers, as it is a shoe created for those who practice a sport that is also of the devil, wear sneakers. I saw the shirts with drawings or brand names that belong to the devil. Christian clothing is social shirt and pants and for women are skirts below the knee. Women who wear sleeveless shirts and Christian men also wear sleeveless shirts to show their armpits. Jesus said that those shirts that show armpit hairs are not appropriate for use. Television. I saw Christians in hell because of television and there are many who have been taken to hell because of this apparatus. Even heretical evangelical programs have taken many to this place. World Cup Football I saw how the World Cup is a diabolical ceremony. Before the opening for this event, the worshippers of Satan have a human sacrifice, a ritual form to celebrate the great feast to the demons. And the whole world adored the World Cup, whose gods are the teams who are the gods of flesh and the golden trophy that is also a god to them. The ball is also a god. The word Baal in English is written Baal and read as Baal, in other languages Baal is a form of worship to the Baal God. Social Networking I saw many Christians in hell because of social networking. Many Christians fell into hell because of Instagram. Their photos were stumbling blocks for many to sin. Do not have Instagram to display your photos. I saw Christians in hell because of Facebook. This social network is destroying many marriages. WhatsApp. Prostitution, fornication, and adultery are in this social network. Turn off your Facebook to not go to hell. I saw Christians in hell because of WhatsApp. These Christians used their WhatsApp to destroy marriages and set up meetings to prostitute themselves. Christians who were faithful to God and joined the WhatsApp groups, they found wicked women who made them sin. These women sent pictures of their nakedness through the group seducing the men. They entered into the privacy of the men of God who were in their groups and made them fall from the faith. Many Christians are in hell because of WhatsApp groups. I also saw the addictive spirits that made people addicted to WhatsApp and Facebook. These same spirits make people addicted to games, television and other technologies. These demons of vice and iniquity have taken many people to hell. Dancing. I saw demons of the musical rhythms that are in the churches. I saw dancing demons who also danced in the church and made the youth dance. Abortion. I saw abortion demons that make women kill their children. This is a sacrifice to the devil. Prostitution. I saw millions of condoms in hell and figured out what its purpose is. 
The condom was created not to prevent disease but to promote free sex and prostitution. When diseases started to multiply and people died because of sex, people became afraid of prostitution so as not to be contaminated by disease. The demons did not want prostitution to diminish because of disease and inspired men to create condoms. After the condom was created, prostitution increased significantly because people could have sex without fear of contracting a disease. Even the number of prostitutes increased that before the women were afraid of not having protection against diseases. Witnesses Jesus said, I have led many to hell as witnesses in order to diminish the number of souls that come to this place. After you, I will still bring more people to hell to witness to the world. I do it for love, I do not want anyone to get lost. It's time to go back to earth. When he said this my spirit came back at high speed to my body. I want to thank God for the crown of eternal life he has given me if I am faithful and steadfast to the end. May all be in the peace of God. Amen.